light bus, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of that Terry Smooth. I'm not Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we're going to talk about astro theology like you never heard it before. That's right. Because I'm not Archangel Uriel. So we're going to get into some real astro theology. So check this out. Before we even get into anything, I got to make some disclaimers. Because you know what I'm saying? This is for all my heavy religious people. Because, you know, if you went to any form of astro theology, then you kind of could understand where I'm coming from. But people need to understand this, right? Things have already fallen. Even when you go to your Bible, the serpent or the snake, whatever y'all want to call it, was already there. Even when, when you want to get to the, the God that you follow, that spirit was already in a void. So it was something have already fallen, a.k.a. something has already died. And that's what dying means. So your whole reason into even believing in Christ and things of that nature, a lot of theologians and stuff believe in Christ because they have preached to you that Jesus died for your sins. But you need to understand that there was death before sin. So that actually that actually don't even make sense. If you, if you see what I'm saying, that actually don't even make sense. So for the most part, don't even let no preacher teach you that God created everything at the same time. Because that would be their failure and their ignorance to understand that there's missing parts of the Bible. And due to their fact of being indoctrinated, they're going to still be teaching that these Bibles aren't, aren't sanctioned or these Bibles aren't inspired um aren't inspired by the word of god so there you need to understand that this preacher or this theologian is just agreeing to the terms and conditions of another man or woman who told them that this was inspired you know what i'm saying who gave them people the authority and the right or who gave that church the authority or right to consider what books are inspired and what books aren't otherwise you just got a book with a bunch of missing pieces to it so you need to understand it was death before sin before we even get into your religious before you throw your religious angle or aspect at this video that we getting into you see what i'm saying so set that aside for the most part now let's get into um this real astro theology what you need to understand is this, right? You got the light bearer. Now, everybody know what the light bearer means, right? It means the light. Well, if you go to Latin, it means Lucifer. Like I said, do not attach your religious aspects to this right now. Because you need to know if you're into astro theology or you into astrology or you watch Archangel Uriel, you have a concept of astrology. So you understand that the Bible or anything that we're talking about is talking about periods of time. So we're going through ages. This is why you're into the age of the water barrier. Aquarius. This is why you understand the age or the constellation of the serpent barrier. Ophiuchus. So when we talk about the light barrier, we're talking about Lucifer. You see what I'm saying? Now get the religious aspect out of your mind. We get, I'm Because I'm going to break this down astro theology, astro theology wise for y'all. You see what I'm saying? Now. The water bearer in the Bible, you know, each part of the Bible, even when you all the way till you get to the fish, the fish to the feet, you're, we're talking about periods of time that we are experiencing. So here's what you need to understand, right? The water bearer in the Bible will tell you, meet the water bearer, one who bears the water. You see what I'm saying? So we know that in astrology to be the Aquarius constellation. So anytime we experience that age, we experience age of information. You see what I'm saying? Same way right now, you are experiencing the uh, age of Ophiuchus also. So the age of Ophiuchus, that's the serpent bearer. So we're understanding how to heal, health. Get out of our lower natures, which snake would be our lower natures and us rising to the phoenix to get up out of that. That's what that whole constellation represents. So you're understanding once we experience an age, we're receiving information. So we, let's go back right now. Right now, let's go to the light bearer. This is the first. If Lucifer if let there be light, this is the first. So he who bears the light. So the, the, the God or that y'all follow or the spirit that said, let there be light. They had the light for, for something to give something. It had to have, have it. So for the, the spirit that said, or your God that you follow that said, let there be light by default, that makes that spirit the light bearer or that being the light bearer because it's the one that holds the light. 
Now, if you're a religious person, how can you go against what I'm saying when in your goddamn Bible it said goes to the one, the water bearer? He who holds the water. He got the water already. So when you look at the symbol of Aquarius, he got the water and he the one who got the bucket of water spraying it out. It's in your Bible. So don't even try to tell me. As soon as you try to go against whatever I'm saying, you talking you ain't even a Christian no more. You're talking about your own religion. I don't wanna I don't wanna hear about your, what you making up. I don't wanna hear about that. I'm going I'm going with the real shit. I'm Archangel Uriel. Now check this out. Now we're talking about the light bearer. So this is the light bearer. This is Lucifer, right? So for the most part, here's what's actually happening. That's that y'all not understanding. This is the first constellation. It's the first age. The first constellation. The first cell life. So here's what you need to understand as stars, right? Here's what you need to understand. The further you are away, it just looked like a star, but right? But the closer you get to a specific star, the more you're going to see it's many stars. So it takes a group of stars to make one star. The same way you're looking at a body of water, an ocean, you, the further away you back, you're just looking at it like it's just a body of ocean. It's just a, a beach or something like that. But the closer you get, you're going to start to see it's many different bodies of water. It's many different currents, many different waves. AKA, if you want to look at it scientific, scientific wise, you're going to see it's many different particles to make up that whole body of water. Many different molecules to make up that whole body of water. So look at you. It takes many different blood cells to make you. So it takes many different stars to make one star. So when you hear the, the casting of one third of the stars, Lucifer ain't get cast down by itself. That's the creation of the light. The, the, the realm of the light. So this is the first constellation. And it ain't come by itself. So the, the group of stars became the one star. The constellation became the solar plexus of this being that you live in. So if you want to look at it like that, this is the first, the masculine first light solar plexus of the being that you live in. So the being, if say you live in an overall space, a spirit or a house, a location, and it started vortexing and created shapes and forms to be aware of itself, it's going to create chakras. Or plexus, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Chakra wheels or lights or emitting. When it said let there be light, it's saying emitting imagination. Emitting a imagination. You see what I'm saying? So, it created a solar plexus. It created a chakra wheel. Right? And the many different areas of that spectrum is the many different vessels that make up that whole chakra wheel. So if you stay within a chakra wheel, that lets you know what you are within a being. You see what I'm saying? So that's the first constellation. So you live in, so this whole, all Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, all, all, this whole ecliptic, if you wasn't, if you didn't live in this memory, if you didn't live in this ecliptic and you was a blood cell that live in Orion or some or somewhere else or something like that, and you was looking at and you was looking at this ecliptic, you're looking at one being. This one being, Aries through Pisces, is one being. And Aries through Pisces to another being is just the constellation of the light bearer. The light bearer constellation. As a whole. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and on a higher clock, that's a solar plexus to a higher being. So you stay within a clock, within lesser lords and lords and lords and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to know the name of the being we live in, the name of the being we live in is I. Because think about it. What would be, what is the highest frequency vibrational word you can use to refer to yourself? So when you refer to myself or, and, and I'm explaining it to explaining it to you how do you refer to yourself what is the highest frequency word you use to refer to yourself yourself i so if it if it take many cells to create one cell many organisms to create one organism many beings to create one being if you are the blood cells within a being and to refer to yourself your cell the highest frequency you use is i then all of y'all that make up this one being, which will be I, 
That's the name of this being, I. So in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, this being's name is I. <laughs> Amongst a bunch of other beings whose name might be something else. You see what I'm saying? So you just, all, all y'all might got your own perception and, and gave y'all own selves your own names. But the highest frequency when y'all refer to yourselves is y'all call yourselves I. Or my, or this is my stuff. So y'all attach to the frequency vibration of the which y'all which y'all really want to call L or Elohim or what y'all have brought down here. But when you just make the line of L and one and I, this is why it's all the same thing, and it makes the Trinity. So when you put a L, a I, you see what I'm saying? You put the the L, the one and the I, it is one thing. So it got the one, the L, Elohim. The I that represents the Elohim and is the I, all y'all make up I, all the Elohim make up I, and I is the one. And it's the one, one of a kind in whatever dimension that is in. You know what I'm saying? So you one of a kind where you at, but you are part of many different of the same versions. You see what I'm saying? But there's a realm of reality where it's just just one of a kind of that thing. You see what I'm saying? But that might be going a little too far for y'all, but I'm going to go deep into that. That's 7th, 8th, and ninth dimensional talk right there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to start getting into that once we clearly solidify the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension. But you need to know 4th, 5th, and 6th dimensional wise, Lucifer, the light bearer, that's just the first constellation. And that first constellation makes up the solar plexus of a being that you live in. And the being that you live in, I'm, what I'm talking about is that's the third spectrum being. You live in the last version of that being, which is levels down. So think about it like frequency vibrations. So look at it like this. There's a being. Then there's a being that live in that being. Then there's a being that live in that being. You see what I'm saying? But that one of a kind being is amongst millions of, of, of other beings based upon that dimension and that realm of reality. The same way you are experiencing how you have went through the First dimension, second dimension, and the third dimension. And you are amongst a bunch of other beings. You see all kind of species, animals, and all kind of shit. So it's that same kind of frequency vibration. But the higher you go in freak but the higher you go into the realms, the lesser it is. So the lesser kinds it is. You see what I'm saying? So you got mankind. So look, you got billions of humans, billions of men and and men and women. All y'all make up. The kind of a man in the higher ram, or the kind of a woman in the higher ram, then that is amongst a bunch of different. If you see what I'm saying, the higher you go, the higher you go. But four, fifth, and sixth dimensional wise, we're talking constellations and we're talking shapes and forms within vessels. And you are a mini version of that in the first, second, and third dimension. So when you're talking about uh, blood cells living in you, to understand all of them, they may all call themselves your name. And then in the higher frequency realm that you are in at the moment, all y'all call yourselves I. Then in a higher frequency than that, you know what I'm saying? It might be another realm and this is a different circumstance or situation. But before we get into the trying to understand the mind and the life of the world that these beings are living in let's just understand the concept from the third dimensional level how you can understand it when we talk about the light bearer and lucifer that is the first constellation the first solar plexus and if you want to look at it in religious terms it is whatever your god your spirit uh that you worship it is the one it created the solar plexus for itself to be aware of itself. So when you look at the Bible, it is a being talking to itself. This is why Lucifer was the only one allowed back into the, the government. Because you're, you're looking at a government and you're looking at rulership and you're looking at warship and you're looking at soldiers. This is why you're in the third dimension and y'all are y'all manifested government and religion and soldiers and, and, and going to spiritual warfare and having a fight for certain for certain other gods and lords and things of that nature. And then you thinking your God is more powerful than another guy where do y'all think y'all get that fucking shit from power and authority and rotation and spiral who can maintain a position and location aka when we talk about the first cell life aka the first constellation aka motherfucking uh the light bearer 
You know what I'm saying? And all and all y'all being an authority and following that one spirit that came here and started creating all the other lights and shapes and forms for y'all to be rulership up, up under it and for y'all to praise it. And then anytime you talk about praising and worship and that spirit is actually a demon. You need to understand that. Ain't no true God want no praise and worship or want nobody to serve it. A true God wants to be alone and be left alone. You see what I'm saying? And based upon and so think about uh people who who manifest the most amongst this earth that lost people want to call gods. Nine times out of nine times out of ten, this is a person who wants to be left alone with their own creation, their own magic. So when you look at a person who, who was super uh and in, super into music, this was a person who wanted to be locked in their own closet. To, to only don't want to deal with none of the business aspect. They want to be locked in their own world so they can pertain to their creation. Think about directors. Steven Spielberg and all these motherfuckers good directors. They want to be locked in their own imagination so they can create their animations and things of that nature. Then, after the fact, other people take their shit. Look at the woman who created The Matrix. She went somewhere in her own world. It took it took the Wachowski brothers or however Wachowskis however you say their names. It took them to take her shit and, and correlate to some other shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what it took. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at the true God spirit and the true God energy, these are motherfuckers who want to pertain into the circumstances of, and want to be left alone with their own creations and imagination. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they, they ain't they ain't going to no other circumstance or situation or wanting to be praised and worshipped for their shit. They, they actually appreciate it, motherfuckers liking their imagination and creation. Almost like, like, like they like that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, all y'all religious people need to kind of switch what y'all thinking. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, flight bus, bitch. Set that shit even aside. It don't have anything to do to that. It was a first age, a first experience, a first cell life. Flight bus, bitch, and um, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it down more logically and shit like that because, like I said, I just go into the spirit and just I just see the shit for what it is. But due to lack of words and things of that nature, it may not have came across well for everybody to be able to understand where I'm coming from. But if you are a person who are spiritually inclined and then you have went to school for 20 years, that you could kind of understand what I'm saying, but you could break it down into words a lot better. Then I, I praise you. You got the logic. You got this man-made shit and woman-made shit. So I praise you. And me and you need to get together so we can get some shit going on. Flight bus, bitch. Goddamn air. Ee-hee. We in this motherfucker.